they are enjoying Absolutely. the victory. Absolutely. Tonight we go live to the Farrell Center where Matt Roberts is standing by with the latest from the champs. An exciting night, Matt. <laughs> Yeah, certainly is, guys. Confetti everywhere for the Lady Bears. It has fallen for the ninth straight time for these ladies. A streak that's really unparalleled in the Big 12 Conference. The team they beat tonight, Kansas, it's a team that people on the men's side talk about with their dominance over the last decade. The Lady Bears unrivaled in women's college basketball, especially in the Big 12 Conference. They came out against the Kansas team that came out a little chippy, that knew that they were trying to up in the Big 12 champions. And they came out uh, firing early on, but Baylor withstood their ground, coming out and doing what they should have done to a lesser opponent. They took care of business, stretching that lead out, eventually making it a historical night. Coach Mulkey talking about it, though, that this is going to be fun tonight. But the players talked about some of the things they did wrong, and they're going to be in trouble for tomorrow in film session, but they're going to make this celebration last as long as they can tonight. We're going to have you covered throughout the night. Much more from the Lady Bears in their ninth straight Big 12 championship. We'll have more on that later. Until then, Robert, Leslie, back into you guys. From the Alan Samuels of Hearn Sports Center, it's Fox 44 First Sports with Matt Roberts. Hey there, and good evening to you. Welcome live inside the Farrell Center where the cleanup is underway. The confetti raining down this evening on the ninth consecutive Big 12 title for the Lady Bears, 10th overall. Got to go back to when I was in college, the last time somebody else was hoisting that Big 12 regular season title. It's a way of life, really, for the Lady Bears, especially over the last decade. And Coach Mulkey talked about it after the game. Whether you're Kalani Brown, who's won four titles in four years, or someone like Melissa Smith, who just came in this year, winning their first title and knowing that this is the expectation year in and year out for the Lady Bears, regardless of all of that, they know that these are sweet and you got to take advantage of them when you get them. It's so fun. It's so enjoyable. You're most happy, honestly, for all of the players. But it's the freshmen. It's their first time to celebrate. And so now they can run around and say, we have a ring. And that's what they came here for. But, but we're taking it one game at a time. You know, that's how we're, that's how we're treating our freshmen, our little babies. So uh, it, it's working for us. You know, we managed to clinch it right here. So um, just take it one game at a time. You heard there from Kalani Brown. She had a historic night herself, but it wasn't maybe as easy as a lot of people thought it would be coming into the night. We'll check in with her coming up a little bit later on in sports. Until then, live at the Farrell Center, Matt Roberts, Fox 44 Sports. From the Alan Samuels of Hearn Sports Center, it's Fox 44 Sports with Matt Roberts. Hey there, and good evening to you. Welcome live inside the Farrell Center with the cleanup well underway and really almost done. The confetti falling just a little bit earlier today. The Baylor Lady Bears winning their ninth straight Big 12 title over the Kansas Jayhawks. So let's show you how this one broke down. Let's get right to the highlights. The Lady Bears wearing purple to bring awareness to Turner Syndrome that took Coach Mulkey's grandson Scout back in 2017. Here in the first, Kalani Brown getting after it early, giving Baylor the early 7 5 lead in a game. That was a bit chippy early at times. Then Juicy Landrum sparking the Lady Bears. A corner three right there. She pushes Baylor's lead out to double digits at that point. Then just before the half, Dee Dee Richards, the rip and run, takes that one all the way in for the bucket. Baylor's lead up to 18 at the break. Second half here, more Landrum, part of a stretch where she hit back to back threes, drills that one to put this game out of reach. Landrum, a game high 20 points. So now all that's left is that career points mark for Brown. Gets it late in the fourth quarter right there. That's the bucket to put her at 2,000 career points, putting the icing on an 80-40 to 40 win over Kansas in a game that wasn't always easy. But the Lady Bears battled their way through it to get the victory. I don't even think defensively we got it done. We're going to get in trouble tomorrow, I'm sure. So we're going to make this last. <laughs> and sometimes get spoiled, too. They'll come and expect you to win and keep winning. But they don't know the Thanksgivings we miss, the Christmases we miss at home. They don't know the early Saturday mornings up here. They don't know the long hours in the locker room. This is the fun part. This is the entertainment when we come on the floor. 
Now, we talked about earlier Kalani Brown chasing those two numbers the 1,000 career re rebounds and the 2,000 career points. The rebounds, shoot, that was easy. That was done in the first couple minutes of the ball game, but Kansas clearly a concerted effort to take Brown away, the focal point of that Baylor offense, and she was eventually able to get it midway through the fourth quarter from a directive straight from Coach Kim Mulkey all the way down get Kalani the ball and get her that record. It was weird. It was, I guess it was really weird because I only needed two. Um, so I was just trying to grab every rebound that I can. I ended up with a lot. Uh, we all rebounded them a lot. So I don't know. I, yeah, it was a little weird, but I was just like, well, thanks. Now I got to get turned around and get these 1,000 thousand points, which was a lot harder. Next up for the Lady Bears, they will travel to Ames, Iowa to take on the Cyclones and try to clinch the title with uh, outright. Iowa State, one of those teams currently chasing the Lady Bears, mathematically still alive. Now, speaking of still alive in Iowa State, the Baylor men's team went up to Ames last night and did just that, staying alive in the Big 12 race with a 73 69 win on the road without King McClure and a hobbled Makai Mason. But what the Bears did have was Freddie Gillespie playing about three hours from his hometown of St. Paul, scored 14 points in 10 rebounds, helping the Baylor Bears dominate on the glass. Well, we need to make sure they're at the rest of our games. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but uh, uh, he was tremendous. I thought the guys really did a good job finding him. He played with poise in uh, 14 and 10. He was huge today. Year in and year out, your team is a really good offensive rebounding team. Why? Upperclassmen. Um, they, they let the, the freshmen and the new guys know this is something we do. It's part of our culture. Um, we play hard. We compete on the glass. So all our past players, they deserve all the credit. Does it, this is the best offense. As I said, next up for the Lady Bears, they'll celebrate this championship for the evening. Then they got to get right to work because they're playing at Iowa State this weekend, trying to lock up the sole possession of that Big 12 title. We'll have more from the Lady Bears in the coming days. But until then, live at the Farrell Center, Matt Roberts, Fox 44 Sports. All right.